Mangamahu is a quiet country village near Wanganui in New Zealand. Today it's known solely as forestry and farming community, but that wasn't always the case. It was once known as the site of one of the most bizarre and brutal crimes in New Zealand history. This is the story of Mangamahu and the man who lost his head. Merv Addenbrook was used to George Gordon and his bouts of drinking. However, this particular drinking bout had gone on for nearly a fortnight. Merv complained to George's drinking partner, Jack Kinsella, that he wasn't able to sleep night after night as they drank and drank and drank. You see, George and Merv used to share accommodation together, a shearer's cottage, which was right here, where I stand, on Addenbrook Family Farm in Mangamahoon, New Zealand. It was on this day, July 22nd, 1921, after yet another night of heavy drinking, in which they'd polished off two and a half bottles of whiskey, that Merv walked out of the stoop of the cottage right here on his way to work. On his way out, he noticed George Gordon sitting there, polishing his axe with a file. Now, Merv would later say that he told Cecil, the landowner, that he knew something drastic was going to happen that day, having earlier seen Jack Kinsella run the back of his pig knife across, across George Gordon's throat, and George exclaimed, you made a bloody bad job of that one, Jack. That day, after running out of whiskey, Jack Kinsella came here to the Mangamahu Hotel, which is the local bottle store. He got fresh supplies, he then returned in the afternoon to the farm where the three of them continued to drink. The subsequent events are so bizarre you wouldn't believe them if I didn't tell you they were true. So the three of them continued drinking throughout the day and into the night. Now this shearer's quarters behind me is not the original quarters. That was torn down many years ago and replaced with this one. But let's just imagine for a second that it is the same. So on this day, Gibson's attending the fire. George gets up and spreads himself out on the floor and asks Jack Kinsella to chop his head off. Now, George had made this kind of bizarre request to Kinsella many times in the past, but most people just put this down to George being a bit of an odd fellow with a funny sense of humour. However, on this particular occasion, for a reason that no one really knows, Jack Kinsella got up from the table, walked out the door, out to the shed, retrieved the axe, walked back through the door and promptly chopped George's head right off. Sometime later that evening, Merv Annenbrook returned home from work. He would have walked somewhere down the path I'm taking from the road up here down to the cottage here. As Merv approached the building, he could hear the sounds of drinking and just assumed that they were still going as they'd been drinking all day and into the night and prepared himself for another restless night's sleep, having no idea the type of horror that he was about to walk into. So he stepped in here through the door into the dark room and his feet were into like a thick liquid, liquid substance. He couldn't see what it was because it was dark, but he could see that it covered the entire surface of the floor. He then cast his eyes around and noticed something which he just couldn't believe, the lifeless body of George Gordon in the middle of the room with its head cut completely off and to the side of the body. Merv looked around the room at, at Gibson and Kinsella who were still sitting right here drinking and Kinsella casually turned round and said to him, he asked me to cut off his head, so I did. Merv then sprinted out of the building and went and alerted the authorities. When the police arrived a few hours later, Kinsella stuck to that same story, that George simply asked him to cut off his head, so he did, and Gibson corroborated it. The body was eventually moved here, to the Mangamahu Hotel, where the head was crudely stitched back on using baling twine and leaned right here, where I'm sitting for days while the men went inside and drank whiskey because of course it took days for a truck to get all the way from Wanganui to collect the body. So what happened to Jack Kinsella? Now if George Gordon asked him to chop his head off and he did, well is that murder or something else? Is he not just helping a maid out? Now the legal case at the time was an interesting one but the criminal code is quite clear. No man can ask another man to inflict death upon himself and any such death that does occur does not relieve the person of the criminal responsibility of the act. Jack was found guilty and sentenced to 14 years in prison, but was let out early for good behaviour. But what do you think? Was it murder or something else? Now, Mangamahu is a town steeped in murder and history, and I'm going to provide some links below so you can do your own research. But if you like this episode of True Crime, please consider subscribing.